So we have track of the day starting already now. Oh, this looks interesting. Okay, I joined the voice chat shortly. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. So I guess we drive at the bottom or can we drive at the top? Yeah, I don't know what the top is for. Imagine you look at the top, but you actually drive at the bottom. Yeah, so but the bottom is below nah, each other. Nah, nah, nah. But they are not, it's not the same route. No. I think it's just a troll, the one on uh, top. Ah, yeah, I think we just fall through the ground now at the start or something. Oh, you didn't drive yet, okay. Okay, Kanchika said rally car, but yeah. this is stadium mode still. I try to do the GPS, then yeah, I know which a pad. Card trigger, yeah. Then I know which pad to use if I see the GPS. Do I have action key three? No. Nope. No rally car yet. Uh, it's after this turn now, I think. Ah, but I have a struggle. Oh I yeah, see. yeah. Okay, okay. Ah. I see it. Yeah, I'll get action key 3. Uh. With which pet do I play that because it has drifts? That's a problem. Yes, I, I think that's even. Uh, uh. That's action key 2 for me, even, I think. Uh, I guess I don't take my rally pets then. I, uh, Activates the action key on my rumble pad. Put it in. Einstellungen. Rumble pad. Action key 2. I will also try it with 2. Oh. Let's go. So much better with action key, man. So easy. Oh, that was one. Ah, I crashed. <laughs> so blind some parts. Mm, yeah, okay, looking at my inputs, I guess action P2 is good. I've not used that yet. I don't really go over 40%. Was this one dirt left outside? In the GPS or not? Is there even a GPS? I, don't know I didn't about find one. GPS, but I'm pretty sure that's outside. The end. No, not the end. Where is the GPS? Straight, pretty much. Right, straight, straight. Ah, oh, probably the up. sign that doesn't load for me. Yeah. There's one outside left near the ending. Yes, but I meant another dirt turn at uh, 15 seconds upcoming, then that's around 17 seconds. But I guess it's that not should outside. Be inside. Uh -huh. Good 
Is the GPS good though? I mean, I don't have auto time yet, so I guess it's, it's good. It's okay. Like nothing special. What is the auto time though? 47, 8. It's a second pass, let me. It sounds good. If it's then nothing special, then I guess I'm doing something wrong. Why does the GPS take so long? Yeah. Yeah, it's it's the uh, it's a 47.8 the GPS. Yeah, it's not outside. Didn't look like outside anyways. Doesn't really get a good drift. Successfully managed to crash the finish. Oh, oh, I've also done that already. Oh, don't get around the scroll. to be so aware with pressing the action key button there. Yeah, the car switch and action key is always tricky. So not sure with this last turn. They go over the penalty. That's exactly there is quite difficult with the action key chain. Yeah, I, I don't know. think you want to avoid the penalty. I'm not fast though. I don't know. This is slower than the GPS. I think I watched GPS a second time to be sure with the lines. Maybe the inside. Yeah, keeping speed for the ending is weird. Yeah. yeah. Should be better. Okay. Like that's the point. That's the point too. That's nowhere close to you enough. How are people so good? I would be happy with the point two. Uh, I mean, it's not the one. Didn't really see much special stuff. I mean, it has to be the snow car. The snow car? Snow car? Uh, the, yeah, yeah, you know what I mean. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's a hidden snow car on this. Oh my god. Yeah, didn't you That's get the snow car building. trigger? Yeah. Dirty tires drift.
a bit confused yet. Not sure how much I use in these transformations. Oh my god, this drift. And the end, that would be enough, okay. Not been dropping that quickly the last few minutes. <gasps> no! No! Fuck! Ah, oh, man. I missed the finish. I had it. Probably top 10 time. Oh my god, if I don't get it one now, it'd be so dumb. I just jumped to far left. Just didn't steer as much. so much in the end. Sadly had a mistake somewhere else and this time might also just drop out. Just need a good snow part once. Snow part? Ah uh, yeah yeah I keep uh, messing up my head is not awake. Actually, if you drive on top, you get snow car. Did you know? Mm. Are you not driving on top? Yeah, I mean, it's it's hard to get up there. Uh, you have to yeah. hit that precise jump. I'm, I'm choking so hard now. I had like at least a 0.7 or 0.8 and I just threw it away. It was the perfect one. Please be faster. Yes. <sighs> In the ending. I'm barely dropping all this money. I don't think I was for a single second outside of this one until now. From my first one till now, was this one. Uh. Oh, I can't finish anymore. Great. Fucking fantastic. Ugh, dude, why do I suck so much at this game? Although, I don't get the pace either. I have no idea how... Point two? I really don't get it. Like, I also feel like I should be driving faster than the GPS in my run. Like, I don't know. Doing something wrong. Since I got myself... In a lot with the drift. If you get a clean drift, you have so much speed. 
It's yeah, not like the drift is a big problem for me. I don't get that one good at all. Yeah, me neither. So I crashed also. That's quite a often. really bad drift, honestly. Like really, really bad. Yeah, drift. because of dirty tires, just. Yeah. <laughs> when when I was safe with one my one run, I immediately improved as well afterwards because I didn't have this pressure anymore. Yeah, let's come uh, uh, pair. So, the iron guy, hope the camera goes, yeah. Yeah, so I'm ahead of him, cool. Yeah. For half of the map. And then I have a bad rift. Can't be all though. Nah, he doesn't do anything different. What the fuck? <laughs> I'm ahead of him until the drift. Then we do the same lines, and he is 9 10 faster than me. Fucking rally car. That doesn't make sense. Oh, I lost the gear and the rally car switch. Okay, that's why in my PB. Ah, okay, and the other switch I also lose like 50 speed or something because I'm sliding into it and apparently you can't do that. Maybe a mod uh, can change title if that didn't happen yet. Oh, so you played the Alamo Cup. Did you want yeah. to uh, check if, uh, for something how good the cup is? Mm, yeah, how difficult, but yeah. <laughs> I was just bored, just came home at that point, so just played. You came home at 4 a.m. <laughs> I mean, yeah. But yeah, like I, <laughs> I basically missed two rounds. I still was, like I still won by like, two hundred, three hundred points or something. I don't know. We were like seventy people though, which is nice, I guess. Yeah. I was uh, surprised Pretty to see impressive. that. I was playing the TV Better Cup. I wasn't sure if that is still happening or not because I was never awake there. But I realized, yeah, it is still happening and it also had over 40 players. So. Did they not fix the bug with the mirrored numbers yet? Nope. <laughs> it's not even. Do they have to wait now every time for a specific date for every single update that is like so bad? I don't know. Ah, because of uh, different platforms maybe or what? Yeah. Ah, uh, I see. Like that's really bad, no? <laughs> Although maybe some, you know, why don't they like, fix it for one platform then? Yeah, like just... why, why can't they only do an update like every month or two months on PlayStation or Xbox either? Like, yeah, they probably have to prepare possible? it. Maybe, maybe PlayStation is reviewing the, um, the updates before they publish. I can tell you Sometimes why there wasn't an update yet. I can tell you why there was an update. It's because I wasn't on toilet. Right before like, coming. You weren't on toilets in multiple weeks. Dude, yeah, not not at that time. Man. Not at that time. Like right before cup of the day. After coming from work. Last two times I was working, I was on toilet at work already. 
That's why yeah, they're so Can we do that tomorrow then? I'm not working anymore. For quite I'm not some working time. anymore? Uh. Yeah, for, <laughs> for quite a while now. <laughs> I will be, of course, in the hospital. Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, you can also go on toilet there shortly before cup of the day. Maybe, maybe. Yeah, it helps. I have to force it then, I guess. Yeah. <sighs> you stream from hospital. <laughs> yeah, we will see how this is looking there. But I want to play. I don't know if I can play on the first evening after my operation. Maybe not. Maybe yes. I don't know. Yeah, how you might. You might miss one cover day. Yeah. Yeah. The thing is, there's also mini RPG of the week and random cover of the week. Can you play during the operation? Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Why not? Yeah. Let's not do Narcosa. Have to play next to. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Gotta endure the pain. <laughs> Shit, maybe skip the operation. Yeah. <laughs> 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 Then we have that issue uh, another time. I don't know at which time of the day the operation will be and I have no idea how I feel. I don't know if I will be alive still. We have to see. Uh, it would be quite nice if you're still alive. Yeah. Mm, I would no. say. Mm. But if not, then the last bomb cup will go into history. Sure. I guess I still have to send all my replay files from all Track Mania games to Lars so he can do a nice video. Yeah, at least upload it, yeah, maybe. I'd rather you, you upload all your replay files if you get investigated in a couple years for cheating. Too consistent. <laughs> yeah, that's quite dangerous. If you don't answer any messages, you're yeah. a cheater. I didn't see the newest virtual video yet. I don't know about who it is yet. I want to watch it later. That's that's a year old video I saw. It's very old news. Just some guy who tests a run or something and get through competitive patch. Who is it that uh, state your map with a dirt straight ending? I. Uh, yeah, I guess the one with the cut before that nobody did before. They, they had to let that I think, and the cut would be then driving left of the dirt roads for no airtime at the transition to the road, but. Uh, yeah. It's right of the dirt roads, but basically. Yeah, it and it's starts probably. With a war, starts with a war bang. Nope. And it's a different map. Surprisingly similar though, <laughs> then. Yeah, not everything. Like what they said that nobody did before, didn't really fit this, uh, because it was done a long time already. I was thinking of this one map in Team and F, where you have a start, directly a jump, where you land in dirt, and this dirt has then these uh, small like bankings to the right and to the left, and you, the start jump is super landing bug heavy, then it comes a small full speed platform section, and in the end there's a long dirt straight, with however sometimes road parts, and people drove left of the dirt straight, and uh, right uh, at the transition. 
Okay. Yeah, I never you know, know the, the names. But... The map is CO2. <laughs> uh, it starts off on road, uphill left basically, then you drop into dirt, then uphill left, dirt, and you warbang in it. Then like small bumps, left turn, small drop, small chicane on dirt, then onto road part. <laughs> downhill, like first a little bit uphill, and then downhill to the right. Uh, turn, then onto grass, one 90 degree turn on grass, then a 90 degree turn into dirt road, and then a jump to the finish. Yeah, that ending with a quest that told me something, uh, because you don't have that on every map. Yeah, I was just thinking on this other map, there was this um, replay where someone uh, took these transitions in the end to get like a nose bug and make this nose speed bug forwards and got a record with that. That is what I was thinking about. No, no. And people are fast in D3. Last round we had a 47.4. This yeah. time 47.7. They're also fast in the front somehow. I wonder why. Forty-seven point four sounds fast even for the front for me. Yeah, yeah we have also point four here. Yeah, but you're not the three. Yeah, that's true. I do something wrong in the start. As usual, the shorty syndrome. can announce the team for the next uh, season for Germany. Giuliano, Ratchet, Purple and Granadi. Wow. And my son. Granadi mm -hmm. guy. Uh, Actually not too bad on that campaign. Yeah, yeah he's decent. Oh, but he said he's not that interested to hunt first place down. He told me that. Um, hmm. Looks like the uh, little bit guns going for it. Is he cooking again? Yeah. Yeah, only on yeah. a few tracks, but that's enough. Like, if you get third record on a few tracks you hunt, then that is enough. You don't even need to play every track. He didn't play I every mean, track. It's the same with Kanadi. Kanadi still has five snow cover records, you know? So. Yeah. Oh, purple is out there. Or oh, maybe four. But the sponge it's guy is here. Maybe a sponge can win. Oh, man, this fucking drift is so bad before the ready car. And so important as well with the speed. Uh, it's just horrible that drift. Yeah, at some point I want to uh, uh, show the GoPro footage as well. 
There's some some really fun moments, especially that the most remarkable one is Tween. Because I found him exactly when he was finalist and when he was winning with three thousands. And I have the reaction on my GoPro. <laughs> uh, nice. Otherwise I saw how Kanati is playing with the wheel. I saw a difference to what I I didn't even think about it, but but I do different. Um, the way he holds, okay, <laughs> Linko just got a 46. Uh, the way he holds the wheel with his hands, I took it like you do it normally in the car, like fully with a full hand. But he actually only steers with the tips of his, like the, the last part of the fingers. He only touches the wheel with those. That means that it's then also easier for him to reach this brake button on the wheel. I guess you also do it if you let goes like full ping ping. I feel like you need more grip there. Uh, somehow he is able to uh, still make it. Like I don't like for me that is kind of would be worse on my wheel if I didn't fully grab it with pressing the button. Like that's probably just where he has his button. Yeah, and these logical, uh, Logitech steering wheels. Also, I also struggle, basically, whenever I tried it with the wheel. I struggle a lot to get to these buttons. <laughs> they are so far in the middle. They are so far away. Like, I have to really straighten up my finger to get there. This is like the yeah, most difficult. My finger definition. can just sit, like, completely normal it's on, the, on those buttons. Yeah, it's... That's something I don't like too much with the Logitech. I mean, usually in other games, Formula 1 or whatever, most of these buttons you don't really have to press often. So it doesn't matter too much. Also and you have like long... Yeah, yeah, you have long straights as well. Uh, Formula 1, they have time to... Uh, a DRS straights, for example, to, the DRS button is not really an issue. It just depends a lot what you use it for. I, I use it for gas and brake and then obviously a bit more important. Exactly. Brake buttons of course. Also very important. He uses these uh, pedals. That's yeah. a close one. For the gas. But only for the gas. And he has three pedals so he only loses one of them. <laughs> I, I, I have them as well. I should use them at some point. They would be good for action key for example. You could use Actually, those pedals yes. even when playing normal, no? You don't have enough buttons on your pad, just mm. use a foot pedal. <laughs> yeah, sometimes I feel like I need more buttons on my gamepad, it uh, would be quite... quite clever. Also keyboard, it's like playing piano then. Mm. I know, yeah. Otherwise, the setup that uh, they get from Big, like they get, of course, PC from Big, and these PCs are from some guy that works there, uh, perfectly optimized for best performance. Uh, I mean, it's uh, wait, maybe I'm dangerous now. Uh, author time. Oh, GG. Yeah, um, but I'm three tenths behind. Hachiko oh, Orange. <laughs> Yeah, the wait 46.8 now for Brinken. Like, what the fuck? Wow. Uh, what are people do cooking in your divisions? Like, <laughs> I'm still winning here with a point nine. <laughs> 46 yeah. nine, that's good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, not quite. Oh, yeah, and I drive point seven, and I'm second. That's unfair. Oh, by the way, for the chat and also. For Chris and Lars, no, this is my last cup of the day now for many weeks on this PC, which means, and with this microphone, which means it will be oh, no. very silent. No, it will be silent. Yeah. When I try to stream them on the laptop again. 
But I have to make me louder then. Okay. Oh, now I clip off pulse. PP into out. Classic. Uh. Oh! Nah, almost. Ah, I drove for point 0.89. Oh, and Kachika's out with Spammy together. Yeah. Um. Yeah, the the monitor had like 300 hertz that Massa and Granati got from Big. And uh, they easily drive on consistent 400 FPS. And this whole combination, it is so smooth. Especially when I compare it with my laptop there. I had 50 FPS, it was Im unplayable at this level. <laughs> it's just impossible. It could have been perfectly trained and I would definitely lose at least half a second, if not even a full second, just because I have then only 60 FPS from the laptop alone and then in-game it's just 50 for whatever reason. Uh, impossible then. But yeah, these yeah, I mean, if you if you really want to compete, you need to bring like your whole like yeah, 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 definitely. PC. Yeah. Yeah. Just bring your own PCs. It's just not it. Oh, I yeah, but I for a LAN of that size, you basically need that. Oh, bring it. You can't it. get that, that much hard hardware. But I've heard something in, in Trilux stream that there was also possibility to, to somehow rent stuff. Yeah. And then I Twin mean, the tried tickets... to do that and he didn't get something. And then <laughs> Twin oh. got something from Trilux or something like that. Uh, yeah. Yeah, the thing is, the normal ticket already with bringing your own computer was 130 euros. And if you wanted to uh, basically get a PC, rent a PC there, and the ticket got massively more expensive. You were around yeah, 300 okay. then. <laughs> so you could do that? That's insane, yeah. Okay, that's, that's crazy. Did you actually sleep at home or in the, in the venue? Yeah, uh, in the venue. Never leave. <laughs> actually, <laughs> yeah. That's the, that's the <laughs> actually, what was that? <laughs> Yeah. Also Is I was. That the thing actually. Uh, yeah. Also the. I mean, uh -huh. one reason why this uh, price was so high is that you could sleep there. There was a whole hall where you could sleep. Oh, but okay. I didn't have. Never mind. I, I however didn't have like an isomatte or schlafsack. Like I, that would have been too much <laughs> to bring. I was actually <laughs> sleeping at the chair where I was. I tried to sleep there. No way. <laughs> Well, yeah, my is... initial idea was to drive back home, but I wrote it into Discord. Of course, exactly now, and also that will also be annoying tomorrow, because tomorrow I have to then drive to Garmisch again. Exactly now in uh, Krefeld, they are uh, doing something that I have to drive with bus. Right. And, uh, but didn't you just talk about why you have to not drive with a car? And now you're saying you have to drive by bus instead of train, or isn't yeah, that just making it worse? Isn't that just wouldn't that just make it better for car? Right. No. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, I'm out now. <laughs> but at least I overtook the ninth place and get trophies. Yeah. Maybe we distracted too much. <laughs> The initial idea was just going by train back and forth, use my Deutschland ticket. And uh, it was also a good idea until I then realized on my uh, last travel from Garmisch to here, like last week, that there is actually something planned and uh, where there is a part of the train ride where I need to use bus. And also where the bus is just uh, taking the route of the train instead. And yeah, this is of course, I directly knew that this is very annoying. Okay, down, big crash. But what is Luma doing?
And then I kind of decided to pack a few more things, like more clothes, something uh, get to brush my teeth and so on, and uh, a few more things so that I can actually stay there a night. But I was now already having two uh, backpacks plus my laptop bag, plus a small bag, plus as I needed it my umbrella. <laughs> uh, because it was raining, of just course. Fit. I, have, I have like a pretty small umbrella that I can just. Put yeah, yeah, I have it on the side of my backpack, but uh, later I had to basically use it. Uh, there, there were some stories. <laughs> uh, but yeah, I decided then I don't want to travel that much, so I just tried to stay at the night there. And then I was still tired, so I tried to kind of sleep in the thing that would have also easily worked well if I was not at exactly one spot where there was a lot of light in front. But I still managed to sleep for hours. There was a time where I definitely was not really. Yeah, I still don't understand. Direct. I was asking why you didn't drive with a car, and because you have I only never been do. Saying... Yeah. yeah, but you've only been yeah, saying stuff that makes train ride even worse. Yeah, I didn't know that beforehand. <laughs> like the planning was just to use the train, and that would be fine. But I don't want to drive with a car into the middle of Cologne. Just don't why? want to do that. Yeah. Because I never did. Uh, yeah. yeah. It's fine. I mean, it's nothing bad will happen. It's not really that bad. And if you don't know where to go, then just follow the path that you know how to drive, you know? And I also want to use my Deutschland ticket. It's so dumb to... to <laughs> it's so dumb to extra pay than, uh, like, fuel money if I have the same, like, for free. Uh, because I pay each month so that I have that in theory for free. Yeah, it's definitely more worth uh, sleeping in a chair instead of yeah, yeah, yeah. bed or whatever. Definitely more worth it. Well, uh, depends on the chair, of course. You can sleep in the chair. I, I can't. Like, I probably couldn't even sleep there if, if I had a proper uh, sleeping bag and, and mattress. Yeah, nice lingo line. Yeah, I don't know what happened there. Uh, you cross through the way and now it is of course some kind of cup that would have been maybe winnable. Depends on how what times the others are driving. Now they were a bit faster, but at least they were reachable. Lingo was of course not reachable. I think that Lingo is the type of guy that might attack the winning streak from Scrappy at some point. If he would just get this consistency a bit better down. Because he often has then this one bad round which is then really bad. Like, definitely knocked out. Wow, oh, so people really struggle here. It's... Yeah, I had that round now in the top three. Where I drove my worst one in ages and then I'm out of course. I need a point one. Would have been easy. Yeah, the others here, winning time now 0.7, is then theoretically doable. That's not fast. I mean, I also like driving by train because you can do things during the ride. During the yeah, train. I also I really like trains, but so often it's I mean, just... I don't like it with like five bags. <laughs> like yeah, there are times for what you... when. Like that's exactly the kind of time where you have a car for, right? Yeah. The most I mean, if you get like, comes if you get like a proper it. backpacking uh, uh, thing, uh, you can easily fit everything into <laughs> one backpack. Yeah, the thing is that I always take too much stuff with me, always. Also, that there are things if I would name them, what what I actually put into my bag, just for the slightest possibility that it could be useful at some point, you will laugh. But I better oh, don't bicycle. say it. <laughs> I better don't say what I. <laughs> I mean, not, I not, now I'm minimum quite curious. And if I need something, then I just buy it there, right? Like if, you know. I'm really quite curious now. Okay, I, I give you one example, but it is such a small thing. This is one of these things where I think, yeah, okay, it doesn't really ruin the space. It also doesn't make it much heavier. But I took a 3D glasses with me in case that someone has the idea to go into the cinema. 
fucking okay. leaf already. <laughs> yeah, I mean, yeah. <laughs> the plot says we never leave the venue, or <laughs> I never left Be until yeah, I but really like, left. How expensive are 3D classes, anyways? Like, God. Yeah. Yeah, but, it, but as I said, this was like one item that didn't really matter, so. Uh, it doesn't matter. <laughs> like Most I am always as efficient as possible with the stuff that I put in, like all that I need, you know. I'm as effective. Yeah, as same. possible. You you took three three D glasses with you, and you are saying you <laughs> didn't have enough space, Marius. That's not effective. <laughs> yeah, for those there was space. Why not? <laughs> no, we didn't go into the 3D cinema, of course not. What a surprise. <laughs> <laughs> no, but the best thing comes... Um, when I arrived in Cologne, I wanted to arrive there at 18.07 on Friday. So I have still some time to basically get to the... Uh, yeah, venue and play cup of the day. So the train, of course, had 15 minutes delay because it was so overfilled with people. Friday afternoon, I didn't think about that, but yeah, and there were people standing the doors and so. On. But it's still not an issue. The thing is, I arrived in Köln, Messerdeutz, and I had to find the messe, so the exhibition. And I uh, went out of the train and just did what we always do, like search the next stairs, downstairs. I uh, found them some, some people went to one, so I just went there, found it. So now the question was, how do I get to the venue? I opened Google Maps before I went out into the big rain. It was like a heavy shower right there in this moment. And uh, I look at Google Maps, now the plot was this, the point did not refresh while I was at the train station. So I thought, uh -huh, okay, I have to just go a bit straight and a bit left and then I will be at the roundabout where the hall is. So I will find it. I just go a bit into this direction, will be fine. So I uh, started walking and, it's, uh, and thought, okay, I have to go around this building, I guess, but this building never ended. And at some point I was at the Rhine and that was a bit too far. And uh, then at some point I just had to check, but I couldn't check everywhere. I couldn't hold my iPad all the time because I had all these packs. I had then the umbrella in one hand and it was just too much to hold the iPad on the other hand. So uh, I had to then uh, stop at some point and check and I saw oof, I'm pretty far away. Okay, but I saw there was a connection. There was a road in Google Maps that, led, that basically directly leads to the exhibition. So I went there. It was a tunnel under a big road. And then in the middle of this tunnel was suddenly a huge fence. And I couldn't go through, like a block mix error or something. I couldn't go through, mm -hmm. had to go back again and uh, had to then see if I can somehow get to the other side of this big road so that I get into this exhibition zone. But there was nothing, didn't go. And then I ended so up after, clip through. after half an hour of walking, I ended up at the train station again. Uh, where I started. So and now I was like, yeah, but how do I get to this exhibition? Like, how do I get there? And then I saw there is an ICE uh, platform as well. Um, and I saw that underneath there is a tunnel that goes perfectly into the direction. So I thought, yeah, let's take that. So I, uh, but this tunnel left to the other side of this ICE platform. That still could mean that you can leave the platform at some point. This was then a curved platform, so I couldn't see the end. And it is a very long platform, of course, because ICE. So I went the whole curved platform and it was a dead end. I had to go back again. I was then already chatting with Amaterasu, I can, cannot find. And then I had my last idea. I go back to the platform where I left the train and I go to the other direction. Yeah, there was also stairs. And that was the solution. From there on, it was super simple. It was direct, it was instant there. And that I, I just know so many train stations, Münster, yeah, or many others where you have then two stairs, but underground they are connected again and you can uh, basically uh, no, go from the one side to the other. This is how I'm used to 
so that you can go downstairs and then you can still see signs there and decide where to go. But uh, I had no idea that one downstairs from the platform is leading to, I don't know, outside of the exhibition yeah. area and there's no way in and the other is actually just going by directly in. I had no idea about it. Now I saw when I traveled back there were signs on the platform but I just didn't think that it's not connected downstairs so I didn't check any signs <laughs> in that in, moment. Uh, yeah. Now I'm but starting to understand why you don't want to go by car. You would have been at like in Düsseldorf or something. Uh, Mark, yeah. it's also really funny to listen to you talk like that with the timer on screen. Uh, four and a half minutes. Four and a half minutes on that one. Pretty good. Uh, I mean, yeah, it was done. a big story. It was a long walk. Yeah. Like, I missed cup of the day then. Yeah. And it was, of course, raining. And I went into a big hole of water directly at the start of my walking. <laughs> I don't have the map. Not another story. I see you. Bye bye. Yeah, see ya. Uh, bye. All right, you have a, a your oh. rally cup or snow cup or whatever. You have to. Uh, yeah, the the original of the V comes up. Um, but yeah, always read sign ma signs, Marius. You you do the same in Trackmania. Hmm. Don't be so sure. If you saw me here in Planet or Copper Million Cup or XD Race, yeah. It's always looking at signs. I'm going with the flow often as well. And the flow told me, just go out and search the closest stairs. <laughs> That's what I do on every single train station. I just go out and I search the closest, because I have no idea. You cannot see that before in the Google Maps. How do you leave this train station? You cannot see that. <laughs> you don't know how it looks like. I had no idea yeah. that only one tunnel basically leaves, leaves into the exhibition. I had no, no clue about that. <laughs> but yeah. That was, of course, and, and it started, of course, also with Google Maps showing the point on the wrong part. I had no clue that the exhibition is on the right side of me. It showed me that it would be straight left. <laughs> so, yeah, that was another thing that made me go wrong. And then, of course, the craziest thing was that there was a connection, a tunnel, a road that directly leads to where I want to be. And then there is just a fence in the tunnel, which you, of course, cannot see before. <laughs> so there, there were some quite unlucky happenings. Plus that it had to yeah. rain in that moment, of course. And ah, I was so annoyed. And then I went into the Gamescom LAN. And what happens, of course, uh, I take the laptop. And yeah, this would be another four minute story. Uh, something didn't work on my laptop, it was out of memory once I opened multiple programs and uh, I had big issues to start Trackmania uh, or to keep Trackmania away from crashing. Uh, the problem is, when I was last weekend, in, like in Garmisch, or not really in Garmisch, I was in these ski holidays. And oh, I know what comes up now. Uh -oh. mm -hmm. The thing is, uh -oh. I need my laptop now multiple weeks. And the laptop has an issue. Windows is always getting bigger, 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 Ooh. and my partition with the uh, with Windows on is is basically almost full. And uh, I asked my father to basically uh, save everything and then try to get some more space on this one partition. And uh, so he was working on that laptop, and I thought it's fine because when I'm back from the ski holidays, I'm still a whole day in Garmisch where we can fix things if they don't work or where uh, we can basically uh, put the old uh, save file basically onto the laptop again, the backup. Uh, then, however, Deutsche Bahn came up, hey, we are striking on Tuesday and I had to make a decision and the decision was to travel already Monday, which means I couldn't test the things on the laptop. And when I opened my laptop in the train, in the train travel, uh, I was not going into the game there yet. And then this train was also cancelled because technical issues. Afterwards, I couldn't use my laptop anymore. And I was thinking all the time I should test it before I go to Gamescom, but I never found the time for that. And then I ended up, uh, yeah, just pray, pray, no, it will work somehow. But no, I got there and out of memory. But it was at least an easy fix. I asked my father then, 
and he sent me something where I had to put a check mark in, in at some point and then it was fine and it had enough memory again. But yeah, it, <laughs> the, the first moment was like, uh. <laughs> today the 17th of March, yes. So, March. Yeah. 